we want to find the hydrostatic force on a parabolic face that is 40 meters wide at the top and 40 meters tall. Uh, so this might be like the face of a dam with a lot of water behind it. And uh, we also know that the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter and gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, pressure is weight times depth. Uh, here we're getting weight from the uh, mass density times the gravity and force is pressure times area. So the first thing we're going to need is to introduce a coordinate system. So we're going to go ahead and for convenience put the origin right here because that means that we know that the equation for this curve is going to be y equals some kind of ax squared type uh, graph, uh, sorry equation because it crosses through at the origin. Uh, to find the value of a, we're going to need at least one other point on the graph here. And if we see that this whole width is 40, then half of that should be 20, and the height is 40. And so the point 20, 40 should be on this curve. So we know that y is 40 when x is 20. Uh, 20 squared is 400. And so it looks like a is going to be 1 tenth. So we get the equation y equals 1 tenth x squared uh, as the equation of this parabola. Now, when we're working with uh, these equations, because the pressure is going to change with depth, we need to slice this curve in some way where the pressure is going to be essentially constant along our slice. And to do that, we're going to have to slice horizontally here. So to find the width of this slice, we're going to need to know what is this x value given this y value on the, uh, on my coordinate system. So really we need to know x from y here, so we're going to end up needing to solve this equation for x. Right? And notice we get two solutions. One's the positive square root here, and then the other one is the negative square root on this side. And so the total width is the difference between those, or you could think of it as symmetry. So the width is going to be 2 of those root 10 y's. Okay, so now we know the width of our slice. From the width of our slice, we can find the area of our slice the area of our slice is going to be the width times our height, and our height here is some little change of y. So we're going to get 2 root 10y times dy as the height, and that gives me the area of my slice, and that's the area of a slice. Next, we need to know what the pressure on that slice is. So the pressure on that slice will be density, which was 1,000, times gravity, 9.8 we're using here, times the depth of the slice. Now, if this is y, then this distance is the depth, and that distance is going to be this 40, the total height, minus that y. We got to make sure that we use our variables consistently here, and since we're measuring y from the bottom for the slice, we have to think of y still as being measured for the from the bottom when we come up with depth. So there's the pressure on the slice, there's the area on the slice. If we multiply those, then we get the force on a slice, right? So if we take the, the pressure and we multiply that by the area, that's going to give us the, f oh, 1,000, sorry. Uh, that's going to give us the force on a slice, and then the total force we, can, we will get by adding up all those individual slices for all the slices here from the bottom to the top, so from 0 to 40. And there's our integral that will give us the total hydrostatic force on this parabolic face.